What's up everyone? Welcome back to Cube Missile Cards. Today we have a release day rip of some 2022 Topps Inception Baseball. Um, this comes out today. I grabbed it at a local hobby shop. Um, obviously chasing that Wander Franco. It's a tough rip. You've got one autograph per box. I think it's seven cards per box. Yep, so seven cards. Really hit or miss product. Um, but if you can hit that Wander, ooh, you are, you, you're doing well. So we'll see what we get. Um, each box, as this says, let's get this to focus for you, has one autograph or autograph relic card per box. Um, I think there's gonna be one numbered card as well. Um, it says all numbered cards are numbered to 299 or less. So single packer, um, it's gonna be a short and quick video, but um, should be fun, hopefully do well with it. So without further ado, actually first let's look at what our pack odds are. So get this up here. So if you want to pause that video to look at this. Um, generally, I think every pack does have some sense of a numbered base card. Um, just as a matter of which one you get. Um, obviously, it's really hard to hit this. You can also look at this compared to last year's product. Last year's um, was a $130. And I think this year retail is like 180 So. Definitely they're raising the price. They know that Wander Chase is real. Um, they know that people are really wanting that Wander. So you never know. We could get lucky. We're probably not going to get lucky, but we will see. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Just grabbing a spacer, a Wander Franco spacer actually, so that we don't spoil all of our cards. Zoom in a little bit as well. Does not look like we got a booklet, unfortunately. So I have no clue what the order here is going to be, but so we're going to start off with Josh Rojas. So this is the design. It's kind of it's different than last year. It's a little more modern with some of those geometric shapes. Um, that's the back of the card. So that's just a base. Our next card is going to be Alex Bregman. And I did see that our auto was next, so I'm actually going to save that for last. So you've got a green Cody Ballinger. This, I believe, is non numbered. Yep, just a non numbered short print. Nice to get the wander in that. Doubt we will, but Paul Goldschmidt. Again, not numbered. Do you see the rookie logo here? Oh, wrong Tampa Bay Ray. Got the Rays, got the rookie. I still like Bruhan. I think he's a good player. Um, he's got some speed. He's a really good guy. Owned him for a while in my Dynasty Baseball League. So, hoping that he can be a good contributor. Um, could be a good leadoff guy. Last card. So it looks like you are not guaranteed a numbered card. Um, last year's product you were, Jose Altuve. And now for our auto. So not seeing a rookie. So we've got Milwaukee. Oh, it is a rookie. So Jake Cousins. This is the downside of this product. It's probably a few dollar card at most. Not really anything special. Um, maybe he'll end up being somebody good, but you know, probably not definitely happy with the Vidal Bruhan, but you know, really tough rip to basically looking at your hits out of a $185 box are really those two cards. Um, no numbered card outside of the auto. Um, definitely a tough rip. So it's a fun product. I probably won't be ripping more of this because I can't really afford to rip more of this, but you never know. It's always worth the chase because as I said, if you hit that Wander Auto, um, or even just a Wander rookie, it'd be a solid hit. But unfortunately, we had done a box, got trolled a little bit with the Bruhan, Tampa Bay Rays rookie. Ooh, tough. But thanks for tuning in. Um, we will catch you on the next one.